All right, let's have a look at this one. This one's nice, we'll take a look at it two different ways. The first way that we will attempt will be by completing the square on the um, on that phrase inside the square root in the denominator. The x squared plus 4x. It would be nice if we didn't have that linear term. And uh, often, when that's the case, the best remedy to get rid of that linear term is to complete the square. This is what it would look like if we were to complete the square. We would go with, let's just make sure we're all on the same page here, completing the square approach would go something like this. Uh, I would write the square root or the integral of the square root. And in here I would write x squared plus 4x. Then I would take half of the 4x and square it. That would give me 4 and just to keep the expression equivalent I would subtract 4 on this side so that I've got a net change of nothing and I keep my differential dx here. Just does a couple nice things for me. It allows me to rewrite the expression as x plus 2 quantity squared minus 4 dx. And now I can um, simplify this problem into one of the ones that we've done already. We would make a u substitution here. We could make u set to x plus 2. The differential of u would be exchangeable for a differential of x. This is your little tiny dictionary for the u sub. That would turn the integral in terms of u into 1 over u squared minus 4 square root du. And now you could try one of your um, identities here. You'd have to choose whether you want that to look like a secant or a tangent or a cosecant or a cotangent. We're looking for uh, the identity sheet. We look for phrases that look like something squared minus a constant. So you look at the identity sheet, something square minus a constant. Uh, this one would do it if you just move the one over to the other side. If we were to move the one over to the other side, this would look like tangent square equals secant square minus one. So we would want, here we go with another u sub here, uh, we would want u square minus four to be equal to a secant square theta minus one. Well, not really, that's never gonna happen because that 4 is a 4 there and there's a 1 there and uh, maybe we want this to be a 4 and then we want there to be a 4 there as well that way you could factor out the 4 and still have this turn into a monomial if that's what we want then we would want u squared to be equal to 4 secant square theta or we would want u to be equal to 2 secant theta Okay, then the differential would be the differential of u would be equal to 2 secant theta tangent theta d theta. This would be our u, our trig substitution. It would turn that into something nice. And we continue. And we could uh, continue over on this side. It would look something like this. It would look like the integral of 1 over the square root of uh, u squared minus 4. We say that's uh, 4 secant square theta minus 4 uh, times the differential of u, which would be 2 times a secant theta tangent theta d theta. Some of these things would clean up nicely, such as the denominator. That would turn into a 4 times a secant square theta minus 1. I factor out the 4 from both those terms. 2 times a secant theta tangent theta d theta. I could pull out this 4. Actually, even better, I can cancel it because when I pull it out, that would become a 2, which would cancel with that one. I can continue with my crucial step here, turning that into a monomial. That would be the square root of a tangent square theta, which would be super easy to handle. The square root of the tangent squared that becomes tangent is gone. Um, this would give you the integral of a secant theta d theta, which of course is well known to be the natural log of a secant theta plus a tangent theta plus a constant. It's, it's not that well known, but we did we done it in other lectures. It's not from this video. There's a few steps in here, about 300 of them, to get you that. Um, but if you aren't sure how to do this, you need to watch a different video. 
Alright, it's customary when somebody proposes a question in terms of X's. It's customary and polite to answer with X's, so you should change your thetas back to X's. For that, we would look to our dictionary here, um, and and then uh, maybe that dictionary as well. Here, I'll, I'll do a secant theta. I'll, I'll pick up the dictionary from here. I'll extend the dictionary. This one says that uh, secant theta is equal to u over 2 which would mean that a cosine theta would be a 2 over u which would mean that if I had a reference triangle with angle theta the adjacent would be 2 the hypotenuse would be um, u or at least their ratio would be 2 to u and the opposite side would be the hypotenuse square minus the other side square and from there I can gather that secant well secant is easy uh, for my sub final substitution ln of secant that ratio would be um, u over 2 plus tangent that ratio would be opposite that would be the square root of u squared minus 4 over adjacent plus a constant and that's it well actually that's one look at it that would be the standard way of doing it it's a very very common technique complete the square to get rid of that linear term there is something nicer that I think I should show you. I want to show you. I can't wait to show you. Let me show you. It goes like this. The other brilliant idea would be to write, write it. This one is the square root of x as times the square root of x plus 4. And right from the get go, before we even complete the square and all that, try and see if that could be turned into a monomial somehow. Again, you'd be looking at your identity sheets and trying to figure out which one of these would most fit that format variable square or variable plus 4 this would be almost similar the tangent square plus a constant if this was a 4 but if that had a 4 this could turn into a monomial inspired by that idea you try and go with a bold u substitution kinda like this one why don't we let x be equal to 4 tangent square theta if that was the case then uh, the square root of x, I'm going to need that as part of the dictionary, would be equal to 2 tangent theta and the differential of x would be 4 times 2 times tangent theta times secant squared theta times d theta. Completing the nice dictionary allows me to continue. That would become the integral of let's do this nicely, it's got to look good. That would allow me to make this into the integral of 1 over 2 times tangent theta times uh, the square root of uh, 4 tangent square theta plus 4 that's substituting things in the here and of course I have a differential dx which I'm looking at here it would be 4 times 2 times tangent theta times secant square theta times d theta it looks like a crazy mess, but I have a feeling it's going to clean up really, really nicely. Look, I already, I can already see that some of these things would cancel. The, the tangent would, of course, cancel with that one. That two would kill that one. Um, wait, there's more. You could see here that the four and the four could be factored out. This would become one over the square root of four and the square root of tangent square theta plus one. This would become, uh, I still have a 4 there, and I still have a secant square theta d theta. And then this 4, this is a 2, that's a 4, we can reduce that. And the tangent square theta plus 1 can be exchanged for a secant squ square. So this becomes, let's continue over here, this excellent problem. This would become uh, 4 over the square root of 4, which I can later simplify secant square theta all over the square root of secant square theta d theta that's the famous identity turning that into a monomial making it child's play making child's play out of this integral uh, this becomes secant no more square theta d theta and of course that we're back to the famous ln of secant theta plus tangent theta there you go see what they pay me nice idea here turning the binomial into monomial because square roots play really really well with monomials not so well with binomials 
All right, that will do it for this example. We'll see you guys here next time. Peace.